Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about an infrared proximity sensor and this is actually a variation of, of the very cheap ones that you have out there. There's actually two types of infrared sensors. There's proximity sensors that send a digital output as in when they are closer than three inches then they send okay it's turned on. But this one is a variable distance sensor so you can measure any length with it and it will give you a continuous analog output. So it is an analog sensor. When you're reading it, you have to have an analog pin to read it with an Arduino. The way these ultrasonic sensors work is you've got three pins on it, positive, negative, and the output analog signal. How it works is you've got a transmitter that sends out an infrared signal in little bursts, much like an ultrasonic sensor. And when they hit a wall or some obstacle, they'll bounce off and then come back, just like this. And then based on that basically time of flight there, coming from the transmitter out, bouncing off of the wall, and then coming back, they're able to determine the distance here. These sensors are pretty expensive. They're about four to five dollars, or even ten dollars, depending on where you're getting them. But they're very useful if you need information about the distance all of the time. So they're very good for wall following and that kind of thing, as opposed to the, the cheaper uh, distance sensor where the sensor doesn't give you anything, doesn't give you anything, doesn't give anything, and then whoop, it turns on and sends a digital signal. These don't do these. These are always telling you some distance between something. And that is the analog infrared sensor.